Hello, hello there. This is Jennifer Jimenez with the Life Mastery Institute, which is the premier center for transformational coaching, where we train and certify individuals to live and create lives that they absolute living. And we also certify transformational coaches to help people do that as well. And we do have individuals who already have a coaching certification, but want what we offer, which is really how to build not only a thriving business, Business, but to thrive in your life as a result as well. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the three worst mistakes that people make that kill the sale, whatever you're selling, whether you're selling coaching, maybe you're selling a car, you know, maybe you're selling um, some other type of service. It actually really doesn't matter. These are th some of the three worst mistakes. And I bring this to you with really over 20 years of enrollment and sales experience. It is one of my areas of greatest expertise. I also um, hold the enrollment faculty title along with Rich Boggs as well. Uh, we we co-facilitate enrollment for the Life Master Institute. So what are the three worst mistakes that people make inside of an enrollment conversation that kill the sale. One of the worst mistakes that people make is talking about the price of your product or program before the client is really sold on what your product or program can do for them. So yes, revealing the price too soon. And you know, that this one you just learn sometimes the hard way. I will say that I've even had people come up knowing what the product or program is, knowing that they want it. But then when you start talking about the features and you start talk, talking about pricing, there's just a part of their brain that gets activated that's really the left reasoning mind. And that's not where people typically buy from. They buy in the theater of the heart, not in the computer of the brain, which is why you wanna push pause on talking about all of the nuts and the bolts and the features of your product or your program, including the price. And you wanna get interested in the person, which really brings me to the, the second biggest mistake. And that's that lots of people tend to make the conversation about the product or the service they're selling. Maybe it's the, the that you know they're trying to sell this this great individual and this individual is gonna fix all your problems or it's a, you know, it's some sort of a modality. You have to do this modality. This modality is gonna change your life or it's the product or the service and they're making it about the thing and so then they're trying to sell all about this particular product or service or modality or personality and it's really not about that at all, right? It's all about the person and it's all about finding out what it is that's really driving them psychologically, emotionally, spiritually right now in their life. And does your product actually, or service, or modality, or whatever it is, could it and does it have a place in this person's life to help them resolve either the number one or one of the primary areas of pain or longing that they're dealing with, and or could it help them create the big goal or vision or outcome that they would really love to create? And that's the first step. It's to get to know your pro possible client, your prospect, ask some really empowering questions. And not only are these empowering questions there to help you discover and uncover what's really driving them and what we call the hot button, what they're really wanting to enroll in to have, have solved or created, um, but it's powerful for the client. It's a much better way to serve them. It's self-inquiry, it's awareness, it's personal growth as they have this conversation with you. So that's the first one is giving the price too soon and getting into the nuts and bolts and details of the product. The second one is making the enrollment conversation about the product, the service, the person, the modality, and not about the person you're speaking with and solving their issue or helping them create a goal or a result. And the third one, is really so common when it comes to coaches or consultants is inside of the conversation, it's usually very easy to see what the client's issue is. Say it's health and well being, and you ask them what they're eating or if they're working out or not and what some of their fears or concerns are about shifting their health, you've got the solution. And so what oftentimes the person will do is they'll give the solution during the consultation. They'll try to fix the problem. They'll go into too much coaching or problem solving and offer ideas to solve it 
versus just simply uncover the information, but don't solve it during that initial call. You actually aren't serving your client. Because even if, and many people do have some understanding of what they're doing wrong and what they need to do right, but if they could solve it on their own with just the information, they would have done it already. So you, you really truly are going to serve them if you don't solve the issue and get into you know, a lot of coaching or, or teaching during that enrollment conversation. So those are the three. So to recap, you've got not giving the price too soon. And if they ask, you can just simply say, you know, my, I, I work specifically with individuals that I know are a good fit. And it's a little too early to know whether or not we're a good fit to work together. Why don't we have a, you know, a more official conversation where I can ask you a few more questions. We can explore whether or not what I do and what you're looking for is a good fit. And then we'll know. And we can talk about programs and pricing and all of that at that time you can ask as many questions as you'd like how does that sound and I've yet to have anybody you know turn that down it's a pretty simple solution for giving the price too soon the second mistake is people are making their products and services about the person the personality the product the modality and not about getting to know what's really driving your prospect and your client and how to either solve a major pain they're dealing with or create a major goal or result that they want and that your product is simply helping them bridge the gap. And then the third is moving into too much teaching and coaching during that sales conversation where you're fixing their problem. Don't fix their problem on the call. You can help them uncover and discover it and help them know that you might absolutely have the know-how, the system, the structure, the support that can help them solve it, but you're not going to be, it's way too much information to outline in one call, but they certainly can explore working with you and then you move into that enrollment opportunity. So if you would love to learn more about the Life Mastery Institute and possibly becoming trained or at least just have an exploratory conversation with one of our program experts, there's no strings attached. We'd love to get to know you better, answer your questions, support you in creating and living a life that you live. And of course, for our coaches and consultants to do the same. Have a fantastic day and uh, just sending you all my best wishes. Bye for now.